Hey everyone, my name is Drew, and we're here. This is going to be week number three, I believe, of the ABL, the Amateur Battle League. And this is going to be a really, really scary matchup against HPT, on Pokemon Trainer, and um, his Saint Hubert Castaways. Now, uh, there's a lot, a lot going on in this matchup, but I'm going to uh, take a screenshot immediately. He had a lot of different options, and my, tr my Heart Trick Room matchup is not ideal, but we do see the... Porygon, Snorlax, so that's the main core, with the Lunala as well, the Volcarona, Primarina, and the Amoongus. So Primarina is incredibly scary. I'm in incredibly relieved to see no Bisharp. Uh, no Ditto is huge, no Hitmontop is absolutely massive. Uh, does not bring a Dark-type at all, which is kind of what my um, Kleki wants to abuse. Now, let me just see here. But yeah, the big, big ones are no Hitmontop, no Bisharp, and of course, no, no, um other dark type Morgrim. Uh, but I think I can kind of lead off with, I think this lead gives me the most pressure no matter what he leads out with. But um, I kind of thought a lot about potential pos possibilities. So he could lead the standard Porygon uh, Snorlax combination, uh, some kind of um, Snorlax Lunala combination, or he could, or the one that puts the potent pressure on me is leading off with Primarina on on the side, and I think this combination of, um, of my Surfetched and my Ludicolo puts on the most pressure on his side, and allows me kind of the most flexibility to kind of do, uh, to kind of put some things in place here. And then honestly, I just think that my Surfetched has an amazing matchup here. I think, um. I think my Klefki can do a lot here, I, and I think primarily also my uh, Santa Cotta can do a lot here. So leads off with the Amoongus and the... Okay, this is interesting. So I can fake out, which I think should out-prioritize the... I think should out-prioritize the... Rage Powder, but I'm not entirely sure about that. I probably should have made sure of that. But I think... I think I can fake out here and go for the Banded Knockoff here and try to make some things happen. There's the fake out, so no Rage Powder. Um, I don't... I'm not 100% sure whether or not I out-prioritize, but let's go for the Moon Blast straight up. Uh, does that KO? We does not KO. So that's pretty massive for me. And the knockoff picks up a straight KO. I don't know what kind of... Oh, I had a Dynamax Lunala, that's why. Um, I was looking at my calcs and it and it didn't have any chance to KO. But it does look like... It does... I mean, first of all, it looks like that was a no... That was a no investment... That was a no invest... Investment... A, a, a no bulk Lunala. And that's the only way that knockoff really does what it needs to do. I didn't even check the item. I probably should have because of item claws, obviously, and uh, things like that. But it doesn't even look like it was that um, offensive a Lunala because... Um, actually, no. Okay, so it could have been... Yeah, it could have been max attack. It for sure could have been max attack. Um, but now I have a lot to deal with here. I'm going to try to leech seed the Snorlax and, be, and and I should be unimmune to Rage Powder, right? Being grass type. I believe that's how that works. But I do need this this thing for a little bit later. I could... Huh. What makes sense to do here? I mean, I could go into... No, I think this makes the most sense for me here. I think this makes the most sense for me here. Um, even though Clefie, I mean, Clefie is going to be a huge, huge um, way for me to win this. If there's going to be any chance that I do, there's the Rage Powder. Um, which is fine. Which is fine. Uh, the Leech Seed still does go off. I am unaffected be, uh, being a Grass type to the Rage Powder. Uh, and there's the Belly Drum. There's the Belly Drum. Now, I do have Encore on this Ludicolo, but obviously, he's going to be able to bypass the Encore by just being. Um, by being Gigantamax, which is going to not be ideal, but, but, huh, okay, so let's, so let's think this through, right? I can Encore, I mean, I can Encore the Amoongus, 
and then just like take that out of it I could t I could also take my chances and 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 encore the Snorlax I could take this thing out of it just to prevent spores I think just preventing a spore would be huge here and then I can iron defense up here oh uh, yeah we can we, we can try to make that happen and then see wherever this can get us because it is leech seeded right so um and both of these mods are pretty much max defensive if I'm not mistaken so I'm not exactly sure what kind of damage uh, this Snorlax is going to be outputting, but uh, it's going to be something, right? If now that it's uh, now that this thing is at plus six, it goes into this thing, okay? Uh, let's see. I don't know what's going to happen here. Um, now that this thing is at plus six. I can take a look at my at my Ludicolo matchup. Yeah, it looks like it's still doing a massive, massive amount of damage. But I'm more concerned about my Klefki here. I don't know. It's going to be dubious with the Klefki as well, but we're going to see. Uh, there's the Encore, and it's going to fail. That's fine. Um... And there's the Rockfall into Ludicolo. Uh, and that's a straight-up KO, which is, which is I think, fine, because it, it still allows in my... It's I mean, that's honestly probably best-case scenario, because Ludicolo... Um, Lud I mean, I'm fine not having Ludicolo as long as... Man, my instinct is to say that, um, is to say that this can come in... But I think this puts on the most pressure, regardless. And I think it's actually in range of a banded... Of a banded... Close combat here. Yeah, even Dynamax is in range of a banded close combat. Uh, and Porygon is not... the oh, Porygon is the least likely to have Protect. And I can just Iron Defense up again. Yeah, I think that's okay. And what this is going to do is, is it's going to allow... Yeah, there's a max card. I think that's fine. I think that's totally fine. Um, Because, again, it's wasting turns of this G-Max. And it looks like there's no Protect coming out from the Porygon either. So I should be able to ban get a Banded Close Combat off. And that's going to prevent the Dynamax. So that is absolutely huge. And Surfetch is going to go down here, but Surfetch got two Okos just being banded as heck and being really, really strong in this matchup. So that's exactly what I needed my Surfetch to do. And it took a, it took out two big pieces off the board. It took two huge, huge pieces off the board. So now the biggest thing that I need to concern myself with is the Volcarona coming in and potentially um, being a pain to my to my Klefki. Um, so I think what I can do. I mean, honestly, what I can do is I can go into this. No, I mean, would it be better to go... Let me just see here. If we have the Volcarona... If we have the Volcarona... Um... Then what's a Banded Dynamax Cannon doing to it? Oh, Banded Dynamax Cannon is... Or, sorry, you know what I meant. Yeah, so putting offensive pressure is kind of where I want to be right now. Yeah, that's definitely where I want to be right now. And it looks like I have to go for the Dynamax Cannon. Okay, it looks like I have to go for Dynamax Cannon in order to be able to Oko a Volcarona. Um, but... Um, what am I looking at for an Amoongus? What am I looking at for Amoongus? If it's if it's defensive, then well, it looks like I never KO outside of Flamethrower. Specs Flamethrower. But I can get a lot of damage off with the Dynamax Cannon. And what about Snorlax? What kind of damage am I looking at with Snorlax? Because what I really because I need to not get spored, but I also I also really want to I also really want to uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm doing very little damage to the Snorlax, but, okay, I think I'm just going to do it. I'm going to go, 
I'm gonna double attack the Amoongus. Uh, just to take it off the board because I need it off the board now. I think that's kind of the biggest priority. Yeah, there's a Rage Powder, so, so it never really mattered anyway. But I for sure need that off the board right now. And I don't think that the Snorlax is going to do anything. I mean, it could just have just a straight up... Um, I didn't have time to calc out the Klefki damage, but this is a plus four super effective... Stored power, it does not do nearly enough. That has, I feel like that has to be um, Assault Vested. But the Max Replenish is encouraging because it's not going to be super effective damage, but it's still going to be plus six damage and it's still going to be a Mond, a, an Uber down. So uh, that's pretty unfortunate as far as things go. But, but, I think what I can do, huh, no, no, I think I have to do this. I think I have to do this. And honestly, okay, so, I mean, the okay, so, okay, okay, here's the thing, right? If, if this thing's Assault Vested, then it can't be, then it can't be Spore, obviously. And that's insanely huge. That is very huge. Because what this allows me to do is set up. I can do this. And oh, I should probably, mm, how do I want to do this? I might just want to Calm Mind here. Calm Mind would... Mm. No, I think I need to Iron Defense. I think I have to Iron Defense. I think I have to. But the Snorlax is out of Dynamax, which is huge. Although, I could still potentially lose to it. It's been on the field for a very, very long time, and I'm kind of out of... In big outs to it. Um, even though it's out of, it's out of, um, Gigantamax. That was never really the biggest concern in the world. It does go for another Protect. That is insanely huge. Because it will let me set up for free. And, um, I can, um, I, I matched it in terms of, in terms of, um, defense boost to its attack boost. And I get rid of the Amoongus. And I'm at plus one speed. So I'm in an okay position. I mean, all, obviously the Volcarona is going to be a huge, huge issue. The Volcarona is going to be a huge, huge issue. But. But. Um. I'm not even entirely sure. Oh my god, I forgot the lead sheet was still up. That's hilarious. I completely forgot about that. But the lead sheet is still up. Yeah, yeah, this thing comes out for sure. Now, I also, I also don't know how fast this Volcarona is. Um, I am at plus one speed on my on my Sandaconda, but I don't uh, unless this is a very, very slow. Um, I could just foul play just to get rid of the, but I should call mind right just in case of. Just in case of a potential, I don't know. I'm going to, no, I feel like I have to click foul play. I feel like I have to try to foul play. Although this could be a very obvious rage powder. Yeah, that, yeah, there's a rage powder. I should have just clicked on mind. Um, but I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Um. This plus the Rockfall should take that out, and if he attacks the Clef Key, then it's going to be resisted plus six. Uh, it, it, it's going to be resisted and enemy max boosts. And if he attacks the Sandaconda, then I'm Dynamax, and I'm and I'm kind of not feeling the worst about it. Facades into this thing. Okay, that. I mean, I think, I think, I'm in a very good position here. I'm in a very very good position here because the Volcarona was huge. Uh, um, I could still potentially. Um, just not do anything against the Primarina. So I have to play really, really carefully around the Primarina. But that is that is a lot of threats that have been dealt with so far. So what I think I'm going to do... I mean, I'm really tempted... No, I should just get the most damage that I can. Which is going to be Rockfall into this thing. And... And I can... 
I can take the I can take this thing off the board. So I kind of have to at this point. I kind of have to at this point. Uh, it goes for protect. Okay, that's pretty unfortunate as far as as far as unfortunate things go. But um, I think I'm going to be put in a position where. Uh, that's still a very respectable amount of damage. Still a very respectable amount of damage, and I get the the sand up. Hyper voice does a lot of damage. That is insane. That was a crit on. Oh, yeah, of course it was. Okay. And it's life orb, so. I mean, what am I gonna expect, right? So. Best thing that I can do now. Um, I still have to take out. The Snorlax this turn. That was a very, very good protect. That was a strong protect. That was a very, very strong protect. But, uh, yeah, I mean, there's nothing to it. I mean, that was just a very, very good protect. That was very, very good. I mean, actually, can I ignore the Snorlax now? I might, right? Because if I'm able to... Actually, I can just Rock Slide at this point, right? We can try that. I don't think... I mean, I think I can just attempt a stored power into the Primarina. And then goes for a double protect. It does fail. Um, I mean, it's not going to ultimately matter the most. That's still very respectable damage onto the Primarina. There's the Rock Slide, which is going to be decent damage. Uh, doesn't quite KO the Snorlax, but... Um, But it does look like Sand w might pick up two KOs right now. And it might leave it just down to... Oh, the, yeah, yeah. there's a Life Orb. And I believe Sand should KO the Snorlax as well. So, uh, I mean, that was a win. I mean, that's definitely not how I expected to win. But, um, I mean, first of all, the matchup was always going to be super awkward. <laughs> Sorry. Obviously, the matchup was always going to be super awkward. And... I, man, I, I really don't like the way that I played out certain things. So, obviously, the Volcarona was huge. The Volcarona was really, really huge. And I almost brought a really um, unique Tyranitar set just to, be, just to kind of deal with it. I went through so many iterations of this team. I built a lot of different variations. And I decided on, on this one ultimately. But, I mean, Kleki just, like, stood in there for forever. I mean, that was a huge, that was a huge, huge... Uh, thing in Klecky's part. There were just a lot of things happening at the same time. I don't think I managed them the best. I think I could have definitely brought more for the Primarina. The Primarina was a huge, huge weak spot. So it was the Volcarona. I think ultimately, Eternatus was a little bit of a weak link. I, I kind of had a lot of ideas around how to play it. It leaves me a lot of interesting ideas for how to play a rematch, a potential rematch in playoffs or whatever the case may be. But yeah, I have a lot of different ideas of how I could kind of manage this better moving forward. But that's going to be for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the ABL as well as more weeks of the GDL and more weeks of something else coming very, very soon. But with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back again.